The Extreme Sailing Series is a stadium racing sailing circuit designed for spectators. Demonstrating high performance action close to shore in hydrofoiling catamarans, the global circuit spans the Middle East, Asia, Europe and the Americas. The nice thing about this series is how much it varies, I guess. The course is uh, so unique to each location and I guess we started in Oman where it's quite a moderate breeze and a big open course with quite big waves and then Cash Guys which was quite flat water and quite breezy so it makes for some yeah, fantastic top speeds and new records were broken in the boat and for the series and then here we are now in uh, Cardiff which is a very small tight course and uh, completely different again. So when we have a tight racetrack we have to do a lot of manoeuvres and they take a lot of grunt work from the team so everyone will be right up on their max heart rate and the tactician and the skipper still have to make split second decisions and the right decisions so that's probably the hardest aspect is you're trying to back each other up, have good teamwork and uh, make everything happen seamlessly but it all changes so fast. Your game plan changes race to race and I guess before the start we talk about it and have our sort of route that we want to take around the track and what we think is the perfect way to do it and then you've got to play it out and change it spontaneously as well as other boats come into the mix and where you're sort of positioned so a big part of it is getting off the start line and having a good plan around that and structure and then playing the race as close to your sort of plan as possible from there. So we always start the race with the plan A and that often turns into plan B or C and we have so many other boats on the racetrack that we know what we want to do but we don't always know what they're going to do and so being able to respond and react to their manoeuvres is really crucial. The latest stop in Cardiff, Wales is the smallest and most intense of all the venues. With the enclosed harbour providing a tight, amphitheatre-style course with fickle and fluctuating winds. Meaning the crews are constantly being challenged. If you sort of look around, there's buildings everywhere and what happens with the wind is it sort of comes down over the top of the buildings or it sort of shoots through the middle so you can't really predict it as much as you could on the open sea so uh, it makes it a lot more difficult you're sort of at the mercy of nature a little bit more here where whatever hits you hits you and you've got to be able to deal with it. The weather conditions are just constantly changing sometimes we see clouds and we have to read them and make decisions on what we think they might do there's also other things like tide and current and those sort of things so there's so many factors that we have to weigh up to try and make a decision on which way is the best to go. Sometimes it's a little bit of luck if you are in the right spot, but the teams that do respond the fastest will come out on top. Sailing is such a beautiful sport and we're so passionate about it and love it and I guess the greatest thing about Cardiff Bay is it's a sort of natural amphitheatre for racing. You've got a shoreline that sort of goes around almost the whole course and where spectators can stand and watch and you've got boats doing 30 knots and plus. Hopefully we can show what a challenge it is to sort of muscle these boats around the course and if they can get that I'm sure they'll appreciate the sport so much more. The natural amphitheatre that we have here in Cardiff is one of the things that makes it our favourite stop on the tour so it's really cool to see the crowds come out and really support you and you know sometimes that can make you a little bit nervous but I think once you're on a roll and you're getting some good results it really pumps you up and helps you to carry on that performance. 